Hey, good day people, it's Matt here from Matt Carve. So today we're gonna to look at how to change a square block like this into uh, two triangle bits. Uh, it's used a lot in carving, especially like whittling and all that kind of stuff. Um, and we're gonna use a bandsaw. It's often, these are often cut on bandsaws and you can't really put it through with your hands because you're gonna be pushing it through the blade like that and it'll wobble around and that corner will actually get stuck into the little slot at the bottom of the bandsaw thing. Very dangerous so we want to make a jig this is the jig that I made and this is what we're going to be making today and essentially you put your square block in there and cut it through without getting your fingers very close to it okay so we've got two pieces of wood we've got an eight by two that's so eight inches that way and two inches that way and seven inches that way so that will become this this one's 12 inches well 12 and a half inches by 10 inches it's not critical that you have it at that um so the first thing to do is we are going to cut a 45 degree angle through there um i take it to sort of like the middle so that's about 10 inches about there and i'm going to sort of like see if you cut it there that's not gonna wait it'll still work but you want it kind of even on each side and the 45 will go there so what you want to do is you want to cut the 45 so it's sort of like go through there like that okay, I've got this table saw here so we are going to move the table so it goes like that to a 45 degree always take the arm up when you do that so nothing gets hit so here we are we're under the plate of the table and each one's different a little bit so I undo that and I look at there's a little pin here and little um, dials here to say 45's up here so if we move that that'll go up to 45 Now I'm sticking the guide on the bottom part of the bandsaw and so the wood will just sit on that. As you can see there, the bandsaw goes through the middle so I've just adjusted that a little bit. And I'm trying to figure out here how I'm going to push this through safely and you can see my hand up the top. I'm not too keen on that so I'll probably use a push stick for that and hold the bottom down by the guide. So you can see the push stick there. So you always want to kind of try and plan out how you're actually going to push wood through things before you actually do it, especially with, when you're new to things. And here I am, I'm pushing it through just at a constant speed. I'm not putting too much pressure on the blade. And when we come up to the end, I want to go a little bit slower and I'm just going to leave it there. I'll take that push stick away and turn off the machine and the machine will take a few seconds to turn off so you don't want to grab it as soon as you've turned off the machine and I'm just taking the edge off each block and so we've got that little tapered bit uh, right there our piece of wood and essentially what we're going to do is we're going to flip that over and make a square on there but first things first what the next step is is to just cut that bit there that goes across the back of it and holds it and gives it more stability overall so essentially what I will do is I will just do that because that's the width then I'll just cut that on the bandsaw and whenever you're cutting wood on the bandsaw always lower that guide to just above the wood it's a key safety thing that you'll see uh, everybody do. And the next step is to attach the block on, you can see on the left. And I'm just putting some guide holes in there where the drills are going to go, the uh, screws are going to go into. So I'm putting the pilot holes in and then I will do a taper on the bottom because the that will be the bottom of the jig. So that will be on the table. So you can't have any of the screws sort of like protruding from that so that's where that one goes and it's not critical that it's 
exactly square or anything like that it's what's critical is the next one when we put the other side on we're going to line that up with a a block so i'm just putting the clamps a clamp on so it doesn't move when i am drilling and putting the pilot holes into the block and putting the screws in okay so now we're going to cut a sort of like a gap where the bandsaw will go to cut the block and so I've just penciled it in. It doesn't need to be accurate, it just needs to be sort of, I don't know, about 5mm wide or a centimetre, it doesn't really matter. So always be aware when you're sort of like cutting with a bandsaw, going backwards like this isn't a good idea if you're a beginner because uh, it can catch and pull the blade out. So you probably best off if you're starting off is to turn the bandsaw off and then pull it out and it'll work better. So I'm going in and you can see I'm going back into the other line and I'm just sort of going back to get rid of that triangle there so I go back and forwards and so we've got sort of like a clean kind of hole there. So the idea here is I've drilled some pilot holes in there so I will be able to attach that other block and I've got a square block there so I'm going to sort of like play around with it to find the best fit by moving the block closest to us and seeing it would be actually easier if that block was a little bit longer but you can sort of see you want a really nice fit there like that and sort of hold the block and put some clamps on and then we can flip it over and drill that side on Okay, so now I'm going to put on that uh, rectangle board onto the back of that and I'm just going to use a few screws there. There's no sort of like need on um, clamping it or anything like that. It's really just to offer a kind of a stop for the block that you put in there like that and also gives the whole thing a little bit of rigidity as well. Okay, so a word of caution is don't have a block that's too long and hangs over the edge because the blade will pull it down like that. Uh, and so you always want your block sort of on the back part so that's where it will stop and I put uh, two little push sticks sort of holding the work and I just cut it by eye I just go along that top corner there and I'll follow that top corner all the way to the end and slow down right at the end as well you don't want to go through that back board that we've put on right there so I'll go slowly right right about now I'll just slow down and then I will turn off the machine and definitely wait till it's stopped and then I will just pull it out and then you have your two corner bits safely bandsawed ready to carve